Hi everyone. Hope everyone's uh, having a good day. <clears throat> so this is my latest order from Shop Goodwill online. I've been looking for something for quite a long time now. Mm, maybe, well, well, certainly since the beginning of the year. And uh, unfortunately, this stuff can be quite expensive. Uh, they are considered antiques most of the time. This one is more mid-century, but it's still pretty. I can't wait to show this to you guys. Now, there is one thing I'm concerned about. This box feels like it's empty. Um, <laughs> I have confirmed it came from the store, the the good the Goodwill store, and it was shipped by FedEx. Um, but my God, this this box weighs practically nothing. So I really hope um, that they ship me the right thing because uh, I have been waiting for this very anxiously all week. Today is Friday. They shipped it Monday. It took forever to get here. It got delayed by a day. Not sure why. All right. So what we have in here. All right. Well, there it is. Oh, my God. That's so tiny. Yikes. It looks so much bigger in the photos. Wow. Okay. All right. Well, um, we'll take this out boxes. Well, I certainly need these for lots of other projects. So, yep. Okay. All right. Well, at least they, they covered it up. That's good. I'm just curious. Okay. Unfortunately, the box does not have any print on it from the people that made it. These boxes are, I'm pretty sure, covered in leather. And oftentimes, the maker will put a gold foil stamp on the top of the box showing their name. <clears throat> okay. Now, um, unfortunately, my camera <laughs> looks orange. It's a red case. Pretty sure it's leather, but I'm not positive. No, maybe not. No, see that? Um, not leather. Not leather. But that's okay. I mean, trust me, what's inside this box is way more important than the box itself. So I'm going to try to zoom in. Uh, I've not done this before. I'm using a new app on my phone, and I'm going to see if this works. Excellent. Okay. All right. So, here we go. Nice little clasp. I have to say, it's got some nice little detail. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Sorry. Still getting used to this. Nice detail in the clasp. Open this up, and look at that. Now, wow, my camera is really screen. Oh, well, okay. It's it's getting there. Okay. Are these not the cutest things you've ever seen? Oh my gosh, oh my goodness. These are so cute. Okay, probably wondering what these are. <laughs> Demitasse spoons to go with Demitasse cups, which I happen to have one. And I'm gonna show it to you guys really fast, okay? It's a tiny, tiny little cup. Um, I do have a mug here that I can show you in comparison, but it's tiny, very small. I can't show you the mug. It's out of reach right now. Trust me, though, this is about half the size of a normal coffee cup, all right? Although the shape is similar, but Demitasse cups come in all shapes and sizes. Well, not the, not different sizes, but shapes. This I also got on Shop Goodwill for practically nothing, and it's either Moser or Murano, and look at all the gold on it. Yeah, it's just beautiful. Cranberry glass. All right, anyways, back to these really incredibly awesome spoons <sighs> made by probably a Danish company. Um, I've seen this box, this lining, these in AB listings, naming the house, exact same spoons. Now, what's going on with these spoons? They are small, okay? See how small they are? Um, I'm gonna guess three inches-ish, three and a half inches, okay? Now, on each of them, um, there is a section of enamel which is not showing up well on my camera. It's green and um, yikes. I will probably post a different video with my other app to show this, but um, this is why these are so expensive uh, because the galoosh on here um, costs money to make and it's not just one galoosh, it's one, two, three, four, five, six in different colors. Yeah, the green's kind of showing in this one. And then um, these are sterling silver, solid, uh, coated in gold. 
and there is a maker's mark on them so I will be able to determine who made them um, once I figure out what this stamp says, this this hallmark says which I'm also not a all right, I'm just going to show the hallmark here on these spoons. Let me just get positioned here. Okay, there we go. Now that says, oh, I'm trying to get there. Frygast or Freegast, Sterling, Denmark. All right, which is what I was expecting. And um, that's, I'm, I'm glad now that I've been able to confirm that because now I know who made these and I can date them more appropriately. Let me see if I can zoom back out a bit here. All right, I'm not having a good video day here, guys. I apologize. Okay, I'm just going to leave it right there. <laughs> All right, so um, uh, I paid roughly... $32 that's including shipping for these the listing um, was so vague it, and the store didn't know what they had so I got a good deal on these and they go for around $120 on eBay many sets like this have sold for that amount recently so it's a win-win all around I got spoons I wanted and if I decide I don't want them anymore I should be able to make a profit from them and this is one of the things I like about the Shop Goodwill site because you can find quality items. Um, but a lot of the times the store does know what they have and everyone flocks to it. In this case, I got lucky. The store didn't know what they had. They didn't know this was Galoosh enamel. Um, they didn't know they were gilded. They didn't know the spoons were sterling. And they just looked at the box and the spoons. And the title of the of the listing was gold tone small spoons with enamel or something something really innocuous like that and um the pictures were pretty bad i i i've gotten really good at, at identifying gilded stuff and things with galoosh enamel even from bad pictures on the site so i knew what these were right away um but um uh nobody else really i guess thought to look at the listing itself and, and look at the other pictures and, and really deeply research what was on the page. And so only one other person bid and I outrageously overbid the guy person <laughs> because I wanted these so bad. Anyways, my plan is to get a Demitasse cup that matches each of these. That's going to take a while. That's just going to be for fun. And then, obviously, if I decide I don't want any of this stuff anymore, I can sell the spoons and the Demitasse cups all at once and probably make a good hundred bucks. So, anyways, um, like I was saying, good deal from Shop Goodwill. I get lucky that way about once a month. My, uh, my Demitasse cup I got from Shop Goodwill, too. I think I got that for around $22, and it's worth about $75. You just got to know the products you're looking for, and you know how you need to be able to identify it with crappy pictures on this site, but there are bargains to be made, for sure. Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate you all putting up with all these hiccups. Um, I'm doing this on a um, cheesy phone that doesn't even have 4K. I'm going to be investing in a 4K phone soonish, uh, hopefully before the end of the year. I've got all kinds of cell phone equipment coming. I'm going to be stuck doing this with a cell phone for the foreseeable future, but in 2023, I do plan to buy a DLSR camera with all the bells and whistles. So, meanwhile, though, I hope that you uh, are appreciating these videos. I'll be making lots of other unboxing videos and all kinds of fun stuff is coming. Please give this a like, and if you're interested in these kind of videos, subscribe. Thank you. Bye.